Today's call, we are talking about why every business needs a book. Uh, we've done extremely well over the years with, a, with um, you know, most of you know about retargeting recipes, you know, that book. <laughs> Liana's got it down there. Anybody got SEO lies? Come on, Andrew. I bet you got a copy of SEO lies. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so SEO lies was our first book and we've used the same company. Um, we made just a ton of money off of that. Not as money as, you know, not as big as retargeting yeah. recipes. Well, we also didn't have the list and the, the business behind it. As right. Much. But if you want to talk about something that took me from like just some Joe Schmo in the warrior forum to actually becoming whatever I am now, you know, <laughs> this, this is Joe it. Schmo, it, not it, in the warrior forum. Joe Schmo, not in the warrior <laughs> forum. It, Yes, that's that's what I am now. But this this was the thing, man. This was the thing that separated me from everybody else. Um, we didn't even use business cards, you know. We would so back then we were doing um, services, and we had an SEO service getting you help you uh, to rank for the top ten. So what we would do is we would research a keyword for you, and so you would give us a keyword, and everybody would pick some ridiculous keyword like yeah i want to rank for weight loss you know or i want to i want to rank for uh success yeah, that su was success yeah we had i remember that one i was like what yeah one guy was like yeah i love the rank for the top 10 results of success and i was like yeah me too um but what they would give us a keyword and then we would give them back you know a few like 10 keywords as an example like look we can't do that one it's too big but here are 10 keywords that we could do, pick one, and we would send them 10 because we wanted them to buy more than one keyword. And uh, whichever one of those keywords they picked, we knew based on our SEO strategies at the time, it's not really possible anymore, but you could literally take over. I mean, some of them, we took over the top 40 results, you know, so four pages of results in Google. And so what we would do is we would just go and we would just drop this book off at like dentist offices, restaurants, <laughs> throw them in people's yards in a, in a, in a Ziploc baggie, you know, uh, this was the marketing tool that separated us. And uh, I'll let Shauna talk real quick about how do we actually create one, you know, because it's actually very simple. Super simple. Literally, I don't know if you, I was chatting in the chat box first. So if you have questions, drop them in there because I'm going to get ready to answer those in just a minute. But um, let's talk about thickness real just, quick. Yeah, Justin, I went to bed one night. I mean, we lived in Idaho and I went to bed one night and Justin. So pencil, you know, it's about a pencil thick. Yeah. You know, they work tremendous though. I wake up the next morning and Justin's like, I wrote a book last night. And I was like, what? It was a weekend. It was a weekend. I don't know. I remember waking up and being like, what is he even talking about? I, I, he's I, like, I, I need to write, I needed to write a book. So I wrote a book and we're going to turn it into a physical book and use it. And I was just like, I stayed up to like four o'clock in the morning. Let me just set the expectation. I used to be a school teacher. Right. And so I'm, fr I'm, we live in Idaho. I'm a school teacher. I wake up one morning and he's like, can you help me turn this into like a physical book? And I used to do like customer support for his business back then. I didn't like run the entire team and the website and all that stuff. So she used to make my eBooks pretty. I did. And so then he was like, can you make it a real book? And I was like, well, let me learn how to do that. Um, so 24 hour books is the book company. 48, 48, 48 hour books. Yeah. Sorry. 48 HR. Yeah, 48hrbooks.com. And literally, they get a book to you within 48 hours. If you give them just a Google document, can be plain as plain gets, they will turn it into a book. And they even, I mean, you can pay an extra fee to have them design your covers. Or if you have a graphic designer, you can design your covers. So literally, I made this cover myself using... I think you were using PowerPoint. I was, I was, I was going to say, it's either PowerPoint or it's like um, pages yeah. for Mac because I had a Mac back then. And so I just like grabbed a template. I looked at other marketing books. I like, oh, they have these things on it. We dropped it. We put it together and then they turned it into whatever graphic file they needed for the book cover. So it was super hands off, especially for a beginner that had no clue what I was doing. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I want to talk about the format. Okay. Yeah. Cause I didn't, it was, it's today that I realized like how brilliant this, this actually is. Okay. It's headline SEO lies, exposed guru secrets. They don't want you to know about bullet points right here. And then on the back is a brief bio 
with testimonials. You yeah. know, it's it's a the it's cover a is letter. a sales page. Yeah. You know, it's it's a, just a sales page. So. so it's super cool. It was super simple. Like we didn't even have faces for our testimonials. We just put gray men. Like that's so bonkers. <laughs> like to think about it now, we didn't even put people's faces there. Anywho, somehow it still works. <laughs> it still worked. So it doesn't have to be perfect, is what I'm saying. Because like an example, a second example here is as retargeting recipes. And actually, the only reason I have 20 copies sitting out here is because there are hundreds of typos in this one. We actually had somebody else go through and fix them. Um, but what's really funny is right after we launched this, some English customer no it was this one it was this one one? it was this one yeah i was just going to talk about that so after we launched this book somebody wrote to me complaining she's like you know it's very clear that once i get past page nine you had someone from a third world country write the rest of it (laughs) (laughs) she was an english teacher uh and i was like no ma'am that i wrote it that was me (laughs) You're, and I didn't proofread it. This you know? is this is Justin on the phone. This is not his assistant. I don't have one yet. Um, and I wrote all of it. Uh, right. So. so I just wanted to say, like, these were hugely successful for us and they had so many flaws. And so I'm just saying, like, using something like 24 hour books or 48 hour books, sorry. And then just getting out there and getting it started is what makes it work. They'll overlook your flaws if you get results. And so just make sure like what you put in there actually works. Like SEO lies really is a book about SEO faults and how to overcome them. Like lies people are telling you about SEO and how easy it could be. Retargeting recipes actually has recipes for retargeting in there. So it's not just a sales pitch for our next thing. It's actual content. So those are super awesome. Uh, We used a Man, I don't remember who we used to fulfill on this. I want to say it was like disc.com or somebody else fulfilled on this. But for this one, we use ship offers and they've been hugely helpful because they'll add other things into the box. So if we want to test like... It's also possible that we were actually mailing this one It is possible (laughs) back then. I don't remember doing all that kind of shipping, but it is possible. Um, But for ship offers, like we could test ride-alongs, like we could send them another letter. We've tried a lot of fulfillment companies. If, If you want to send your book with upside down text with <laughs> half of it in Spanish. I know some companies that with will do that for you. If you. <laughs> we have a few resources for you. Yeah. We, yeah. We would have some that would just have title pages and they would like, they're like, Oh, I got Justin Brooks book in the mail. It's amazing. Today's the day. And they open it up and every it's single page blank is there. blank. So yeah. when I give you these resources, know that they have been there like through everything and they always deliver and 48 HR, 48 HR books, amazing, amazing company, super helpful. And and ship ship offers, offers. ship offers help us go international and they, they negotiate your shipping rates for you. And so, and they can do all kinds of cool things like adding a sales letter in there. You know, one thing that you should always do um, is get a little, get a little printout like this. We did a printout of a dollar bill. Print the actual thing that's illegal, you yeah. know. So, you know, have like the outside of it, and then in the middle of it is is a sales message. And so, what you want to have happen is you might have one side of it printed like money, and then the other side is your sales message. And so, what you want to do is whatever you want to actually sell. Okay, you want that delivered. You tell the fulfillment company you want it delivered like this. So when they pull the book out. They think there's money sticking out of there. And obviously you probably want a 20 or a hundred or something like that. Yeah, you know? maybe something cooler. <laughs> so they pull the book out of there and then they pull this thing out and it has your sales message on there. And if you can get really fancy, learn what pearls are. That's personalized URLs yeah. with invite codes to a webinar. Woo, buddy, you will make money. So those are the two resources I would recommend if you're getting started. I mean, they scale with you. So, I mean, if you have, if you have a hundred books that you want them to fulfill, they'll store a hundred books for you until they're gone. And then they'll let you know, Hey, you're down to 20. Are you sure you don't want to upgrade, uh, add more, um, 48 hour books actually prints them in 48 hours. And then it takes three days to get to you. And they have two warehouses on either side of the continent, uh, us, the United States, um, so that way they can deliver, like if I was in California, if my fulfillment cali- ship offers is in Colorado. So it used to take them four days to ship from Ohio all the way out to Colorado every book. But the fulfillment company, the um, 
48 hour books actually opened a second one out on the West coast. So that way they can deliver even faster. And so now they're able to ship even faster to both coasts. Yeah. And what I like about 48 HR books is, and they're actually called 48 hour books. Right. That's why I keep, I've been giving this, you know, I've been giving this referral for a long time. Everybody goes and types in 48 hour books. It's 48 HR books.com. <clears throat> what I love about them is they're, they're big. You know, like if you order writer magazines, if you're in the writing space, they're the, the big dog. Um, they're publishing a lot of big stuff, a lot of volume, but they're also so friendly and so approachable that a noob like me who didn't even know how to format the book or anything like that, because there's like a special way you're supposed to format it with certain margins and things like, like they will give you templates. They will answer questions. Yeah. If you Super only need, helpful. you know, I think their minimum order is 100 that's if you do your research that's tiny that's microscopic it's amazing that a company like this will go down that far to a hundred and i know these are they're pretty simple books but they do embossing they do laser engraving they right. do all kinds so if you want like a really classy high-end book you can create that with them if you want it to be a journal you can create that with them so this one is called perfect mind yeah. It's a paperback, perfect bound. They'll you know. print spirals for you. So they're, they're super cool resource. That's who I would recommend starting with. I mean, that's what we stick with. I mean, we sold thousands of these right. and I, I bought all thousands of them through 48 HR yeah. books. I yeah. didn't find many, anybody else. Many thousands. The I, mean, only... I remember we were just on, like, on an auto ship of 500 books, which is like a pallet of books just being sent over. So they would just keep auto shipping those to our fulfillment center. Yeah. Every time we got down to 50. So um, the only other resource we've used is actually Kindle Direct Publishing. And so that actually gets you in Amazon without you having to ship a product to Amazon. So like you can upload the same book that you upload to 48 hour books for them to print for you. You can upload those same files into um, Amazon KDP. It's what it's called. And they'll create, they'll print a book for you too. So you give them the, the cover file, you give them the insert file and they publish your book. Also, the only um, thing you can't do when you do that is you can't sell it you can't give it away for free right. outside of Amazon yeah. if you're charging for it on Amazon. Right. So there has to be a cost associated with it. You, so, will, you will get your account shut down if you do that. <laughs> so when we offered a free book after selling it, yeah, uh, lessons learned. But they'll also do international, which sometimes is cheaper for you to recommend your international yes. people to just buy from Amazon it's than to buy so from you. It's so much better. Because a free book shipping through ship offers internationally is still going to cost you $15 to it $21. Will, it will break you. I promise you. <laughs> it will break you. But Amazon will publish in any country and charge you the same flat fee for shipping. So yeah. it's, it's easier that way if you want to go internationally. The one thing we were starting to figure out how to do for international, uh, the, easy, the easy way is just to, just to Kindle. Like just tell them <laughs> it's, it's so much easier. Right, it's on Amazon if you want inter international. But I'm sorry for all our international friends. What you can do, uh, we're an international world and we're a global economy at this point. You know, um, you all probably know somebody in the UK or in Australia and whatever. And so you can start saying, like, hey, would you be my base of operations? I'll do all the work, you know, but can I have my books sent to you and then you? distribute them from a local distributor in your area. You can save a lot of money that way, but you do have to kind of build the relationships. Yeah. You have to have a couple of relationships and set them up in different areas of the world. David, who is on our team is actually in Hungary and he actually did that for us. He helped us source it. He said, we'll have people here locally in Hungary and they'll, they're able to distribute to like all of Europe. Right. It's not just days. It's not like time is the problem. The problem is all the different border laws. It's customs. It's yeah. customs. And you you will get so many books just lost in customs. I can't tell you how many 695 so we used to get 695 you know that was the cost shipping and handling but for international it was like 14 or 18 dollars there's been books where i've paid over 50 75 dollars just to get the book to someone because i had to send three four different copies to get them through customs yeah um, so international is really hard i want to talk about just a few more things yeah before the we benefits open. of it yes. like why do you actually need it 
Okay, so the biggest thing, the real reason I'm talking about this, one is the instant credibility, you know, even still today where almost everybody knows everybody can publish a book on Kindle, a book just like TV still has that instant credibility because people, the average person doesn't know. Like I've sold books for years now and my mom still doesn't really realize that anybody can publish a book, you know, that it's not that big of a deal. But like, if I gave her a book, she would instantly think that person's like a doctor or an expert or, or something like that. And so you just have that instant credibility by having a book. That's the best business card you can put in somebody's hands. And then uh, literally they, when we traveled the U S we just kept these in our door in the door pocket. Yeah. And when we ran into people, if they, if they asked us about what we did, we would be like, Hey, this is what we do and it helps businesses. And if we hand out to them, they'd be like, I could just have this also makes your explanation a lot shorter. So much easier. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, so then the other big benefit is right now we have like a little bit of a crisis going on with tracking. I don't know if anybody has noticed <laughs> Uh, well, not just tracking, but also credibility is uh, not credibility. Um, compliance is the other C word I was looking for. Compliance is tough. And in, in markets like make money online, uh, network marketing, CBD, prepping, you know, there's, you know, there certain markets are more sensitive than others, but the ad reviewers, a book they're just not scared of, you know? So if you're selling a book, you know, the greatest way to get into a tough compliance market is to have a book because the ad reviewers, they're just not scared of a book. They get it. The customers get it. The ad reviewers get it. And also a book sales page. It's simple. I mean, it's, you don't have to try too hard to sell a 995 book. And that's the thing. I would just tell all of y'all what price start at 995. You know, that's a, just a good general price for a book. It'll cover your shipping and handling. You know, you don't have to worry. You know, all you really need is a headline, picture of the book, description, maybe a table of contents, a um, couple of testimonials, an order button. You know, you don't have to be a genius to, to sell a book. People get it. You know, they don't yeah. need a giant sales page for it, but you can do that if, if you so desire. If you want to sell it in a marketplace like Amazon, having a USB number helps. Or ISBN, ISBN number. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're like $50 a year. You can buy, I would not recommend buying hordes of them on eBay. That sounded too shady for me. So I just paid a company. It was $50 a year. And now we have our own that we don't have to worry about getting resold or anything like that. And if you got, um, if you got really big cojones, then what you can do is you can go and put your book in the bookstore yourself. <laughs> And uh, I did not do this. Justin may have done this before, but I did you, not. Do you this. just bring it in your pocket and you slide it on the bookshelf yourself. And when they bring it up to the counter and they ring it up, they, they can ring up the book, but it's, it's not sold there. So they'll have to give them the book, you know, but hint, hint, this person wants this book. And that's a way you can get your book on the bookshelves. Okay. So, I mean, it's great for clients. It's great for you. If you're, if you're an affiliate, it's an easy way for you to have your own product to build your affiliate list um, before recommending other products. So there's just a lot of ways you can use them to help grow your own personal income as well as your client's income. Yeah. Great, great tool for Google search. That's the last thing on our I was notes. just going to say, I, I, in my notes, I wrote Google search, but I remember, I couldn't remember what, what our brains from our brainstorm, what you were going to say. Yeah. So I'll leave so it to you. Just the simplest way, like one, you want to become an expert, get a book. Okay. You know, uh, so we wrote retargeting recipes. Shauna did that for a father's day gift for me. It was just a, like a seven day series an email series. So one, all of you should be emailing your list every day. If you're emailing your list every day, you're making you, tons of content, right? You can write a book in about 10 days to a month. Um, you should be able to have, um, you know, I write about a thousand words in my email. So if I write 10 emails, that's 10,000 words. You need between a, a bit, the, the full books, they're about a hundred thousand words. So if you want like that whole thing, so you're talking about, you know, 90 days, Add some pictures. Um, <laughs> Format it nicely. Big pictures. Remember on the back of that one page before you start the next page. Mul is the multiple page. page long pictures. Um, <laughs> You're awful. But yeah, these books, you know, uh, Frank Kern's got one as well. I've actually done a study. Uh, some of the books that have built America were little pamphlets, you know. Uh, oh, I wish we had all those here. Yeah, look up, look up pamphleteers. 
you know, they have literally built this country, you know, um, and, and many others, pamphleteers, um, some of the greatest books of you all time. Google search? Yes, wanna... I'm getting there. Um, so the small book is very easy thing to do. Uh, so instant credibility, then you want to be able to sell it. So simple sales page, headline description, picture, table of contents, couple of reviews. Um, if you need reviews, give your book away, you know, to a few people to get reviews. And then finally, how to start selling it. Google search, okay? I target retargeting book. You know, it, it, you don't have to try too hard. I was just hard. gonna say, you can even pick a topic or a keyword you wanna rank for. So if you search like- Advertising book. Right. Cooking book, you know? Uh, we had like- Basketball book. There were like two retargeting books when we started this. And so it was real easy to rank for retargeting book if there are only two people that have a, a thing that says retargeting book. And that's actually what our URL is because I more wanted to rank for retargeting book than retargeting recipes. And so our URL for retargeting recipes is retargeting dash book. You know, it's just that simple. Uh, it sounds so hard uh, to think about getting ranked for a keyword, but it really is easier with a book because of Google shopping and how Google formulates. And I was even talking listings. about Google search ads. You know? Yeah. But I mean, there's SEO is usually not too hard for books, depending on what type of book. You know, if you're trying to rank for like how to write a book book, you know, that's you're, you're probably going to have a bit of a tough time there. You know, but I'm just talking about Google search. You know, if you just do Google search. Um, you know, search ads. It's it's very easy. You know, the keyword is usually not that hard. A lot of author, authors, they don't understand Google ads. So there are tons and tons, every market, you should be able to just put whatever your topic is and the word book behind it. And then you're instantly making sales. You have that instant credibility. You're not having to worry about compliance because it's a book offer and you're just ready to go. And that's why I think every business should have a book because it's just Super easy. And then uh, this is the other strategy. So Shauna brought up this page. Uh, I'll, I'll share my screen real quick. I was really just pulling up um, our listings. I wanted to show like I typed in retargeting book, you know, and so you can see we're listed because of in Google books, we're listed there. And then we've ranked here. And then I wanted to see if we were listed on this other person competing for the second spot. And so I opened it up. This is another strategy. We, you yeah. know, got lucky on this one, you know, they just added us in there probably because we were running ads and they saw it. Um, Cause I have no, no idea who these people are and they yeah. have my book on there. Um, but what you can do is they are almost always in every single market. Somebody has written a blog post, the 10 best books on whatever. And so what you do is as soon as you have your book, mail that book to that person, you know, and, and, you know, tell them, hey, if you like this book, we'd love to be on your your book list blog post. And now you're getting your book out there uh, in, in more ways.